this video, we're going to discuss how to combine timesheets to make a payroll summary. On a previous video, I discussed how to make a timesheet, and I will have a link in my notes below. So what we'd like to do is we have a staff of four here, and so we have the sheets all named, Tom's, Tom's timesheet, Kathy's timesheet, and they've all entered their own hours here, and we'd like to combine these together to make a payroll summary. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Tom sheet, and we are going to select the top three rows here. So we have from the date where it says tasks, and then we will go right till the 31st, and then we will go copy. And then we'll go to our payroll summary, and we'll go down one row here, and we'll paste. Now, we're going to change the word tasks here to say days. And that's fine. Now, I have previously um, changed the column size from the column width of B to AF to, um, if you right click on the column, you can see that I've changed the column width to 3. So you need to do that so that your sheet will be all on one page. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the first staff member's name in here, which is Tom. And then we are going to um, press equals. We're going to link these sheets. So now we're going to go back to the Tom sheet. And we're going to click on the, the totals here for each of the days. So we're going to click on the first total, the zero here. And we're going to click and we're going to press enter. Now the, the zero is entered in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag until we get to the end of the 31st. And then, of course, we will take an automatic sum of these numbers. Now I have done this for each of the staff and I put it on the next sheet so you didn't have to watch me do it each time. And so here you have the staff members and their and their hours totaled up here. And then then if you were were, were paying them twenty dollars an hour, what we've done here is we've multiplied their total hours here times the twenty dollars, and this is the salary that you would have to be paying them. Now these these sheets are linked rather than copy. So let's go to Kathy. And she comes and says, oh, I forgot to enter in hours. And so now if you look, our total for Kathy is 18 hours. So let's go to the Kathy sheet. And let's put in, um, let's see, it says 18 on this as well. 8, 8, 8. So we say 8, 8, 8. And now you can see on this sheet, the total is 66. So let's go back to the payroll summary, which is sheet 6 in this case. And there you have our, our hours of 66. So the hours have automatically been carried over for, um, for what they put it in into your own sheet. So that's how you combine time sheets to make a payroll summary. Please subscribe.